Welcome. Let's define the surface area of a cone. We want to think about how much area do we need to cover all the sides in our cone. Well, notice that the cone can be broken down into two sections. The base, which is a circle, and the upper area, which is what gives it the cone shape. If we can figure out both of those area and then add them up, we should be able to find the surface area of a cone. I'm going to define this area as the lateral area of a cone. The area that is on top of the circular base. To find the area of the base, we just need to find the area of a circle, which we know an equation for that. That would be pi r squared. Now, how do we find the lateral area? It will be easier to visualize if we place this cone in a flat surface. So let's do that. So notice that now the lateral area can be seen as a section of a whole circle whose radius is of L, where L represented the lateral height of this cone. So let's do that again. Here we have our cone. If we flatten it out, notice that the area of this section of this circle will be equivalent to the area that we have for our cone. Now let's think about how we can find the area of this section of a circle. Let's start by considering the circumference of the circle, which is defined as u pi r. Let's get the circumference and place it in a flat surface, which we have now here. Keep in mind, that we are interested on in finding what's the area of this section of the circle. Well, let's get that section and let's divide it into smaller portions. And now let's get each of those portions and lay it down on the same flat surface. Notice that here we almost have a rectangle. There is just a lot of empty space shown in white. But what if we rearrange those sections? If we rearrange those sections, notice that now we have a rectangle where we can place this little section right here over here so that it fills in the whole rectangle. What we have shown was that the area that we were interested on, it's nothing more than the area of a rectangle where the side of this rectangle, it is half the circumference and the height, it is equivalent to the lateral height. So we have shown that the area of this section, it is equivalent to the lateral height times pi r. Let's take a look at one example. So here we have a cone and we want to define the surface area of it. We have shown that the surface area, it is equivalent to the area of the base, which in this case, it is a circle that we have at the bottom, plus the lateral area, which is the area that we have on top of that circle, which gives the shape of a cone. And when we add those two sections, we will obtain the surface area. But let's find each of those sections individually. Let's start with the area of the base. If we concentrate on our circle, notice that we have the radius, which is equivalent to three. And with this information, we can find the area of the base. That would be equivalent to pi three square, which is equivalent to nine pi. Let's say that all the measurements were given to us in centimeters. So let's call the area centimeter square. Now to define the lateral area, which is the section that we have on top of the circle, we first need to define what is the lateral height, which refers to the height that is slanted on the outside of the cone. But now notice that when we consider that side of a cone, we can create a right triangle using the measurements of seven and three. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to define the lateral height. We will have three square 
plus 7 squared equals the lateral height squared. And with this, we can find that is going to give us 9 plus 49 equivalent to L squared. So now we can say that L squared is equivalent to 58. And when we take the square root, L is equivalent to the square root of 58, which is approximately 7.61. So now that we know the lateral height, we can define the lateral area. We know that the area is equivalent to pi r times the lateral height, where r, it is the radius of the circle, which is 3, and the lateral height, it is the height on the side of the cone, which we can approximate it to be of 7.61. So now it's a matter of just simplifying this result. 7.61 times 3. That's equivalent to 22.83. And let's bring down the pi. Centimeters square. So now noting that the area of the base, it's equivalent to 9 pi. And the lateral area, it's equivalent to 22.83. Now we can add those values and obtain what we were looking for, which was the surface area. which is equivalent to 31.83 pi centimeters square. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.